Hi, my name is Cam Tanitasi Serpo, and I'm the leader of Group One. And welcome everyone to the dimension of BTM 260. <laughs> and we are with Rick and Mori here. Today we are going to talk about the horror. It's one of the philosophy in Rick, Rick and Mori. And let's see what my group member want to talk about. I will pass it to them. Hello everyone, this is Maricela Magallanes again. This time our topic is Rick and Mori. Rick and Mori are full of cosmic horror. Cosmic horror is another of my topics. So I will start telling you that cosmic horror was created by H.P. Lovecraft. Lovecraft was born in Providence, Rhode Island in the latest 1800s. He was born in affluence a uh, family who lost their wealth after the grandfather died. Um, Lovecraft published the um, uh, his creations and they were focused on the place of the humans in universe. I want to say that Rick and Morty have a lot of cosmic horror in their shows. Talking about the particular one, Mr. Mystics, that we were assigned this week. I want to say that um, Mr. Mystics is a certain type of human that has to appear, fulfill a task, and disappear. That is the basic um, let's say gold of a mystics. So if I understand correctly, I will say that this is kind of a um, vision of how Lovecraft see us in the universe. Like we as humans are here for a short period of time and then we disappear. Um, I will say to you that cosmic horror is uh let's say basically to be afraid of the unknown and as you can tell a rick and mori series or cartoons is full of unknown unknowns and um meaningless stuff so I hope my explanation um, serves its purpose, just as Mr. Misix. Thanks for listening. Bye. Hi, everyone. My name is and today I talk about man's fear of the unknown. Uh, most people are afraid of things we don't know like ghosts or shadows. We fear the unknown because we fear what we do not understand. Knowing or being familiar uh, with something gives us an edge because we already know what to do. Participate from situation. Humans are afraid of ghosts because we cannot see or touch them. We think they are terrifying and damaged to our life. Very horror movie has deeply engraved their impression. The darkness and was hidden within pearl arose each person imagination and fear. In the dark, you can 
You can see someone who might want to hurt you. Rick and Morty is science fiction horror story. Rick, Rick is a genius scientist, but alcoholic and careless. I combine I in him on his mission in his teenager. Grandson Morty, he has a device that can take him to different dimensions of space. We cannot guess where they will go and what to see until we watch the movie. In this series, endless space, it always full of charge and danger. That simultaneous feeling of fright, disgust, and threat that we feel as whatever lost in incomprehensible space suddenly come crash into you, our reality. In the cartoon, there are many characters that's a monster. Monster one short example of this image of fear. Some people have an overrated imagination and they ascribe future of scaring things onto the emotion or ascribe the emotion onto partially unknown things. They have an odd or ugly shape, sharp teeth, many eyes and limbs, and an aggressive impression. Every time a monster appears, an accident will happen. From being attacked, take captive, killing to catastrophe, a light, a quake, fires, and even planet destruction. The scene of blood and violence on tap play in the movie. Before the great alien force met the earth looks small and powerless. It's a fear of mysterious force that humans are unaware and uncontrollable. We can be destroyed at any moment. I think that made the movie's horror. The film remind me of the fear humans, pessimistic lie. We are afraid of the future we do not know. We fear violence and death. Human fears are visualized as a monster that exists with, within them. It disappoints, scares, and harms us. Too much fear can lead people on a path of extremism, violence, and anti-socialism. Benjamin Smith said that we fear the unknown because the unknown can kill us in nature. It's often success. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Cam, Tanitasi Surupo. My subtopic today is cosmic horror is in human nature. It's made me think that it's normal to be scared of something that you don't know. It is common. Everyone feel the same if you're a human. Because first, I think it's in our survival instinct to prevent human from the dangers. We are potentially protecting ourselves from things that could harmful could be harmful to us in this case something that you cannot hear at the time or you cannot see at the time humans use their imagination i would say like negative imagination that is from that is come from our instinct so we fear the unknown because it can kill us in some way. For example, our ancestor were afraid of the ocean because it's powerful and if you cannot swim, maybe they don't know how to swim at that time, so they will die. And human didn't know what and how to deal with it. Like, they don't know how to swim, so they will die. They get scared of things they don't know. And some people, even like 
even now, some people are still scared of the ocean and visualizing cosmic horror story in their mind about monster or shark in the ocean. So it is very common that people scare of the shark when they went to the beach or the ocean. And as I want to talk about the second one that I want to talk about is human have always been scared of the unknown before science that can explain the world is not flat. The world was like before people think the world is flat. So when Christopher Columbus sailed across the ocean, people were frightened that he will going to sail right off the end of the world because it's like they are on the land and then there's the ocean and it's gonna be universe. They're gonna hit or fall down. So that is the scale of what they don't know. There is the, the obvious reason that we are not sure and we don't understand the consequences, as you can see in Rick's and Molly's theory. Molly were afraid to go to another dimension or planet and then meet some monster or aliens that can kill them or can harm them in some way is that thing is called cosmic horror because Modi doesn't know what is gonna happen. And fear of the unknown that can cause you to have anxiety and OCD when you are too worried or afraid of the unknown because you don't know what to expect and how you handle it. So and everyone have been like anxiety or stress in some point when you cannot control or lack of knowledge to deal with the problem. So I would like to say that don't, don't be panic if your mind create the worst situation or make you feel terrifying. It's normal and it will pass. Thank you. Hi, in the video, I will talk about the fear in the future. After uh, watching Rick and Morty uh, uh, movie, I have the concern about this problem, fear in the future. Ricky and Morty is a cartoon movie, but it's not for kids under 16 years old because it had many scary schemes like uh, Gurm and Murden. I feel it's a terrible and scary movie. but. In the end of uh, any move, any a process, uh, I have I have learned about one me uh, uh, more meaning of the life. First, talk about the fear. What is the fear, and how can we feel it? Uh, fear is a uh, primitive emotion that have involved a part of a survival instinct. Is it an emotion that is triggered by the two of danger, pain, or harm? Fear can also be a prepon that is uh, generated from a memory of a life experience that has been painful, traumatic, or upsetting. It can also be activated by observing uh, fear in order. The world are more and more development, and it is creating more and more fear about the future for the human. There are many fear about the future for us. We can, we, we, we can uh, desire success, uh, we scare that your life may not improve at all, finding that your earning will not be enough to support your future, scaring you will become ill, fearful your future will be too depressed, worry about your partner will leave you, scary that you will lose your job or be unsuccessful, or worry about a lie. 
Fear of the future is increasing in modern society as people scrum to wrestle of congested lives that are heavy, depend on material will and factors that are not directly by the cell. The unknown future can form many individual creative fear. And how the fear of the future affects us? Fear of the future can create feeling of danger or impending doom. This can try to act in a way that is out of the normal behavior pattern. Fear prevent us from being reasonable. Finally, fear of the future is actually an illusion created by the mind. It's not real, and we do have the potent uh, put a. Uh, Potential to change it, the fee arising not, and we can escape it. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye bye. Hello, my name is Karen Garcia, and I'm going to talk about the fear of multi-universe theory. Have you ever been interested on in the idea of traveling through different parallel universes? Well, this is basically what Rick and Morty do all the time in the show. They travel with what they called portal gone which shoots and opens up wormholes to two different spots in space-time. They call these trips adventures, which are definitely fun but super scary as well because they don't know what or where are traveling. They often encounter different situations, worlds and grotesque characters that sometimes are terrifying or even threatening which gets them in trouble that sometimes is difficult to avoid. Rick and Morty's perspective of the multi-universe is not meant to reflect real physics, but it is fun the fact that it's bringing an abstract, abstract scientific debate whether there is such a thing as multi-universe or parallel worlds and stuff. Uh, this concept came from quantum mechanics that explains the, the curious world of the very small things. In quantum mechanics, they, the many worlds interpretation states that every event causes the universe to split off in two different versions that enclose all possibilities. There is a famous example. When you flip a coin, it will generate two parallel universes, one in which the coin landed heads and the other one Tales. I mean, can you imagine traveling to your other universe not knowing what you will encounter? I mean, because if you go to a parallel universe, you might find yourself there, or the same you in different, in a different situation, uh, or even like a mean version of yourself. Um, or you can travel to another universe, uh, maybe a scary or surreal. Uh, a world with maybe mystic dark characters that could fulfill your worst nightmare. That is where the horror of the multiverse, multi-universe is found. Each universe has different things or situations and the intrinsic fear of the unknown, not only of things in your universe, but of another universe that may have nothing to do with yours gener generates horror and the meaning of horror is basically like an intense feeling of fear and uh, or shock like that you can perceive danger or a threat so this is the scary part of the multi-universe and i think rick and morty uh makes them makes it feel that it's really easy and, but I mean, they get really into trouble. So, but that's the horror of, of the show, basically. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, my name is Sam, I'm from Group One. And today I'm going to talk about the movie called Read and Muddy, the horror. But the topic today is overcome the fears and challenges. Richard Muddy is a story about an utemist alcoholic scientist 
scientific genius named Lee Sanchez and his teenage grandson, Marty Smith. Reed and Marty are five very new in the show about the grandfather and Reed grandson, grandson that embark on many zany thoughts to revoke an adventure. Fear and challenges. Fear is something that uh, makes everyone feel insecure and difficult to overcome. It about has an immediate fear that we are roughly conscious within it about. So, how can we be overcome a fear? Uh, that the, the question and the and, and I'll show the um the answer that every is everyone is best to uh, have the best solution. So uh, that also the reason um, why the Mr. Mrs. appear is Risk give the Mr. And Mrs. part to his family. A divine couple in calling helper called Mr. And Mrs. in Stanley. The blue creature exists only for the mission at hand to be sure. Um, the creature immediately vanished from life when their mission is reached, which assured the family the creature are happy to die and abandon them to keep the mission be simple. And why it is giving this special boss to, uh, of a magical creature to his family? So the reason because Rich wants to give his family member the chance to overcome their fear. He know that everyone have to go through the hard time to defeat their fears. The clue creature is saying the fear in our hearts and race mark appear every time the clue when the clue creature is fighting. Is a venue to see up be, uh, overcome the fear. My fear. I am a person who is very afraid of heights. I uh, to overcome that fear. I practicing climbing. Now the height is no longer a fear for me. I have conquered many different heights. I went to. I have been to many beautiful mountains like uh, Rainy Beach. Uh, Randy Mountain, Mount Baker, Mount Olymp Olympus, and Tower Mountain. And after that, I feel very charmed and feel very happy. Never to give into fear, believe in yourself. That is message I want to give everyone today. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Stay healthy and be happy, everyone. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, my name is Hamza Kiani. This is for BTM 260 Project Management. And my topic is Cosmic Pessimism. Uh, so basically that is a horror genre that is called Cosmic Pessimism, imagines a world above a, above a world of looming threats and emerging pandemics. To go, with, to go with this video series, I'm going to talk about the show Rick and Morty, which is on the Adult Swim animated show. It's actually a pretty big hit now. A lot of people have watched it, but in case you haven't, that's okay. So that's what I'm here for. So it's basically, it's a show about Rick Sanchez, an older man who is a scientist. He has this knowledge and technological power that's almost godlike. He has a portal gun even that can port teleport him anywhere in the place in the multiverse. He has traveled, traveled throughout existence and has gotten himself in all sorts of adventures with alien races with his grandson, Morty. Uh, so uh, when they made the show, it was kind of like back to the future between the, like the crazy scientist and the, the, the younger character. So, but back to the, back to the cartoon after, for all the things that like he discovered, Rick, he never found the meaning of life and kind of became like an alcoholic, even though he has all these like different powers that he's like found discovered throughout inventions. So back to cosmic pessimism, it's, it was a, a book published by Eugene Thacker. Uh, he's an American philosopher that describes it. It's pre prevalent in horror genre. And it thinks through the universe as absolutely unhuman and indifferent to the hopes, desires, and struggles of human individuals and groups. 
We'll never make it or simply we're doomed. Seem to be the main motto of this type of philosophy. So back to the cartoon Rick and Morty. There's even a there's even a cart there's even a episode where they come back from their adventures at the end and the like there's an invention that makes them blow up. They blow up in like a really graphic way, very violent. So but then right after they like they show these like their horrific bodies out through this uh, portal comes out another version of them from another alternate timeline and basically uh, Morty he's still like you can see in the picture he's still horrified from what happened he's he's asking Rick what's going to happen to the world that they left behind only for Rick to tell him that he should just be glad that it's not them that blew up which in the episode ends with them bearing the other versions versions of themselves uh but overall this is a cartoon to like be funny so instead of this being terrified by our own insignificance like mentioned in cosmic pessimism it also wants us to find the humor in it you can see here rick saying certain death certain death certain death <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's very grim, but I, I would also recommend anyone who hasn't seen it to watch an episode. All right, thank you for, uh, thank you for watching my video and I hope everyone has a great day. Wow, my friend has talked a lot about Cosmic Horror. Like what is hot? Cosmic Horror, main fear of the unknown. Cosmic Horror is in human nature, fear of the future, theory of multiple universes, overcome the fears and challenges. And the last one is Cosmic Pessimism. So I hope you guys get something from our video and thank you for watching.